this gun training demo. It's how to load a pistol magazine. Now, you would think it would be easy, but many people have a very difficult time loading a magazine for a handgun. Usually, it's women or persons with weak hands. And I don't mean anything against you ladies, but that's just the case. That's what I say. Or persons who are novices at shooting in general. It's okay, though, because there, there is a answer for each category of person who cannot easily load a handgun magazine. There's a few different aspects as to why it is difficult, so let's go over those, then fix it. Let's figure out what the problem is, and let's figure out how to fix it. We've already touched on the weak hands and limited skills, but there are more reasons why handgun magazines can be hard to load. Number one, the magazine is brand new, and the spring in the magazine is very strong and not broken in yet. Two, the follower is of an awkward design, which makes the magazine hard to load at times. Number three, the magazine's lips, quote, in, in quotes, which keep the ammo from popping back out, have sharp edges or are pointy and hurt your fingers when loading. Number four, some people wish to load the ammunition into the magazine backwards, which can make it difficult to load. And I'm trying to be nice on that one. You know, novices, first timers, I can understand what happens. Uh, but it's very difficult to load it that way, and then if you even do get it in the gun, it's going to cause you major problems. So we'll talk about that. And then number five, improper grip on the magazine and improper use of your fingers and support hand. Now that I've listed some reasons as to why it's hard to load a handgun magazine for some people, let me explain to you how we can overcome those challenges. The first one here is the old tried and true method of breaking in a magazine spring, the magazine spring that pushes up the bullet, uh, cartridges, is to load the magazine to full capacity and to leave it loaded. The spring will learn what it has to do and how tough it has to be to make the magazine function properly and to make it easier for you to load in the future. If you have a magazine follower that is shaped funny, what you need to do is learn the easiest way to load the first round. After the first round, the rest should become easy because then the cartridge is just more level than when you're looking at the, the follower itself. And I'll be showing these in just a second. This, you learn that by trial and error, by the way. And then, I'll tell you what, I've got the high-capacity magazine here. If you're looking in the video right now, I've got two magazines. One is a single stack, and the other is a high-capacity mag. The single stack mag, for those of you who can't see this video, and has some familiarization with handguns. It's where when you go to load the magazine, you put the cartridge on the first on the follower, and then you put the other cartridge right on top of that, and right on top of that, right on top of that. It's a single stack. If you were to look at it, it'd be one on top of the other. The high capacity mag has a slanted follower. So when you go to put the first round in, it pushes down, and then the next round will go a little bit off on an angle. It kind of zigzags back and forth in the magazine, so it'll fit. And if you look at this Glock magazine, you'll see all the holes in the back. As the more cartridges are put into the magazine, they zigzag, and you'll get to see the brass or the silver from the aluminum or, or the steel-cased ammo poking through the holes to tell you how many rounds you have in the magazine. But they stagger back and forth. Now, in my bag here, hold on one second. Paul? You're doing a great job over there as I get my fake bullets. Here we go. I've got some dummy rounds here for 9mm, and I'm going to put them in a single stack magazine on the video so you can see what I'm talking about. On the top of the magazine, we have what we call the magazine lips. Those lips hold the cartridge in from popping out, but the best way to put the first cartridge in and cartridges in after that is by grabbing the magazine and putting your thumb up and over the top with your tip of your thumb in line with the edge of those magazine lips. So if you're looking on the video, there's the lips, there's where they end. I'm gonna put my thumb right over the edge so it's lined up. So when I go to put the cartridge in the magazine with my other hand, I use the back side of the cartridge to line directly against my thumb tip. I push straight down and then in underneath the lips and the round is held. I do that for all the other rounds as well. Now that that round's in there, I put my thumb on top of that round, Push it down a little bit for a starter, get the other cartridge and put it on top of that one, push down and in, and there you go. Now on a high cap magazine, in the video you notice how it's sloping? Well sometimes when I was telling you about those magazines with the pointy edges, sometimes they hurt when you're putting it in there. I would just get rid of it, get a whole new gun, get a 1911, you'll be happy, trust me. But if you don't, 
This is what you got. You got a magazine follower that has an angle. So once again, you're going to put your thumb up over the top like I told you. But now the first one's going to, instead of going straight down, it's kind of going to go in on a side angle, just slightly. Goes in slightly on the side, underneath your thumb, underneath the lips, and then it's in. But now, it's just like the one that's a single stack. All you're going to do is put your thumb on top, and it's going to act just like the single stack did. One on top of the other. The, the magazine follower on the double wide one is a little weird. Once you get past that and you got the round sticking up on the top, you just put them down like a single stack mag. So that's how to load a mag. If you want to learn further, come to aaronsgunshop.com. Friday nights from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. we have special opening to the public where you can set yourself up with a class or seminars and we can teach you all the stuff. You become a very good and proficient shooter.